Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at youtube.com slash show. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. I want you to know Dr. Nicole Aviner here. She's here. She's going to talk about a very good subject. It's talking about four things to, you can do to take control of aging. All right, Dr. Avina, I got their attention. What are those? Let's start on those things they can do about aging. Yeah, well, there's really a lot that we can do to help combat the signs of aging. We really want to make sure that we're focusing on getting exercise. Even just a little bit each day is really all you need. We also want to make sure that we're having meaningful social interactions with each other. We want to make sure that we're getting enough rest because rest can be something that if we don't get enough of it, it can speed up the aging process. And then lastly, we want to focus on our cellular health. This is an emerging area in the health and wellness space, and it's really revolutionizing the way in which we think about aging. We know that from our diet, we get macronutrients and micronutrients that can help to optimize our health, but they might not be enough to combat the age-associated cellular decline, or the AACD, that's happening on the inside of our cells. Okay. So these things are going to happen normally. These are things we can do to do we do it to slow the process of aging down. Yeah, so what we can do to try to mitigate some of these signs of aging, like fatigue, like lack of stamina and lack of energy, we can think about using a supplement like Celtrian Cellular Nutrition Products. These are a great way in which we can mitigate some of these signs of aging. And they come in powdered drink form and also vegetarian capsules. And it's really a way in which we can incorporate focusing on our cellular health into our everyday wellness routine. Okay, uh, my show is listened to on multiple platforms, you know it's the 21st century, anyway. I'm going to take one of these from, where's this coming from? This is going to come from Instagram. They want to know about sexual health. How do you keep that going? This is coming from a female. Yes. So obviously that's something that changes as we age too. And I think that it's important that we maintain our sexual health and sexual interests as we age. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be the same as it was in your 20s or your 30s, but that doesn't mean that you can't have a meaningful, enjoyful sexual life as you get older. So I think it's a matter of really just changing things up, trying things out that are maybe different that you haven't done in the past and not neglecting that part of your life because it is an important part of our health. All right. Well, I guess this poster must have been inspired. This is coming from Twitter. They want to know about emotional health. How do you sustain that? Emotional health is something we also need to stay in tune with. And we need to keep in mind that, you know, as we go through life, our bodies are changing and our brains are changing as well. And the way in which we process emotions is changing. So I think it's important that we stay in tune with our emotions, that we have proper outlets for stress, that we have proper outlets for anxiety so that we can keep our emotions in check so that they don't get the best of us. All right. I'm going to take this one from Twitter also. They want to know where to get started. <laughs> well, I think the, really the best place to get started is just to get started. <laughs> Anything that you can do to improve your health is taking a step in the right direction. So maybe it is just, you know, focusing on your diet and thinking about ways in which you can make sure you're getting a little bit of extra greens into your diet or getting a little bit more fruit in your diet. Just take it with baby steps, one step at a time, and you'll be able to really start to see some changes in your health and your wellness routine. I think that's so valid. And I think you're so on mark, Dr. Nicole, because one thing usually affects another. I remember when my doctor, when I tried to reverse, start reversing my health, first of all, he told me it took you a long time to get this way. So it would take us a little while to reverse this. But he said, you know, one thing will affect another. He said, you know, as you get healthier, then this will get better and this may get better and this will get better. So just start. 
It is so true. It's really a domino effect and people don't realize that. And it can be overwhelming when you start to think about completely changing your lifestyle to get healthy. You don't have to do that. You really just need to take one step at a time and you'll see that it's going to get easier as time goes on and you start to rebuild your health. Okay. I just got one more question I want to ask you. They want to know about uh, spiritual health. What role this plays in to physical well-being? Well, I think that spiritual health plays a big role, just as important as physical, emotional health. And I think that we need to make sure that, you know, we're addressing that and that we are taking care of our spiritual health, whatever form that may take shape of. It is an important part of the way in which we operate our health and we need to make sure that we're not neglecting it. That's right. Find something that you can connect with. Doctor, uh, is a place online for my audience to go and get more information? Because you see they've got a lot of questions. Yes. So you can get more information about Celtriant at Celtriant.com. They're also available on Amazon.com. And people can learn more about me at my website, DrNicoleAvina.com. Dr. Avina, I really want to thank you for this Q&A for my audience. I really appreciate this. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.